Hello, I'm here to talk to you about how I, for Airsoft, how I protected this without using those lens protectors that you have to mount onto the Picatinny rail in front of your sight. Because those are like 20 plus dollars and basically what I did only cost five. This sight came with these scope mount, these, uh, not scope mount, but uh, dust covers. And what I did was I went to Lowe's, got Lexan, plexiglass, point zero nine eight thickness for four dollars. You don't need a cutting tool, you can just use a hacksaw, which is I I just went to use right here. But basically what I did, I took it, put it right here, got a Sharpie. Filled out the inside and then cut a square around it, mounted it to this, and then took a grinding, not a grind, uh, a rider tool that has a sander, and I cut it to like this. And then placed it inside here, pushed it on. And I did it for both of them front and back sight. And this stuff is unbelievably clear. Because I was thinking about getting one of those uh, kill flashes. But that blocks a lot of your view and you don't want that. This stuff is also incredibly durable. I shot it with a 800 FPS lead pellet from a Powerline 900. Oh, here, let me get a piece of paper. So you can see it. Let me focus you. And it didn't crack, it just dented it. So it can be shot multiple times and your sight will still be protected. And the only downside is, is this material once you when you're cutting this you definitely want to keep this plastic on at all times because this stuff is really easy to scratch so yeah it's not the most durable material that way like this front is but oh, that's scary I don't want Lexan going through my hand but yeah it's extremely durable on the packaging it says it's 250 times stronger than glass and yeah and you don't need one of those ugly scope protectors on your rail you just have to, and that's all that all other players will see. This is my site that I have made, and these are the mounted sights, the speed mounted sights that go on your Picatinny rail on the front. I also protected my flashlight using Lexan, the same way that I did with the dust covers. I took this off, got the inner dimension, and cut another piece out the same size that will fit snugly in there. It's pretty tightly in there. That's the only thing holding it in is friction. But the uh, only way it could possibly fall out is something pushing it from the inside, and the BBs are coming in this way. So it won't fall out. And looks like a regular flashlight. It's incredibly bright. Uh, yeah. If you don't have like an ACOG site or a the red dot site that I have that has a place for dust covers, like let's say if you're using a sniper rifle scope, uh, 
you can get these type of dust covers and they'll you can just pretty much do the same thing cut a circle put it in place it back on take all you might want to take out the the plastic that's already on it since it's not plexiglass this is clear plastic and yeah now you have an incognito site protector the only thing that I was not able to put a plexiglass lens protector on was this three times magnifier that's meant to go with the, the red dot sight because there is no space, and I should shut focus. Yeah, because there is no space right here for a protector to go on. So maybe for the, this one, you might want to get a piece of PVC pipe that has an inner diameter of your sight. Cut it off to that depth, this depth, like an inch and a half, or just a half inch and then cut out a slit for this this part slide it on and then cut out a plexiglass piece and put it on there and maybe secure it with caulking because you do not want to put super glue on this because it will fog up really bad and I don't know why I guess it's the chemicals in the super glue that make it fog when it adheres to another surface.